What is up Transformers? I am still at the office. It is still day one. The new video, the first video of the X-Series is currently uploading and I'm going to head out to my car and grab my gear so that I can go to the gym. Now remember I've always said that you do not have to exercise in order to do my program and be successful at it. But just so you know, I have consistently exercised and worked out since I was 19 years old. I always exercise anywhere between four to seven days a week, and because my body is used to that kind of activity, I can't exactly pull it out and expect to see good results. The same is true for you. If you're somebody that's highly active, your body gets used to and adapts to that activity, and it's not special anymore, it's just average. And so you will have to keep up any activity that you start out with on reduced phase, and for the best results, do that exercise and that intensity and frequency all the way through your program. And just so you know, you'll probably have to increase it as you get leaner and as you lose more body fat. So I do not recommend that you do exercise unless your body slows down or if it's something that you're already doing and that you like or enjoy to do. But exercise is important. It's important for the cardiovascular system, the musculoskeletal system. It helps improve hormone sensitivity, but it's not necessary to lose fat. And that's because for most people in America, eating less and moving, moving more is only 30% of the fat loss equation. Uh oh, looks like they might not have closed something. Not good. Oh, look, lights totally left on. Nope. It's seven o'clock and it's super, not super dark, but I mean, it's dark that it's hard to, okay, but it's seven o'clock, it's on day one. Normally I work out before I come into the office, but I wasn't able to do that because I was on a TV show. So part of that zero excuses and zero tolerance policy is that because I'm somebody that always works out or that I work out five to six, sometimes even seven days a week. Wow, I'm sorry, this is like pure audio, isn't it? That I have to do that workout before I go home. So even if I get just 30 minutes, I wanna get a minimum of 30 minutes, but I'm going to do something because I know and I understand and I want to get across to you guys that the more consistent you are with as much effort as you can muster, the faster your results are going to be. And because I want to show you that transformation is possible, that you can achieve optimal health, that you can get the body to respond and you can even get it to respond in what seems to be an accelerated manner, I've got to do that for you. So we're gonna head off to the gym. I have to cut the clip down because obviously it's too dark, you can't see me. But uh, because this camera's small, I'll see if I can bring it in and get some footage inside the gym. See you in the next clip. And we're here and we're at the gym and we made it. It's something like 7.15, maybe 7.20. I'm going to do, so just so you know, I'm going to do a minimum of 30 minutes and as we go through this series I will explain the importance of if you are doing exercise how much exercise you do like the length of time and the intensity and things of that nature why they're actually very very important but my calorie goal and my step goal for today is almost at uh, what I wanted and that's just because I had a broadcast today where I had to go on TV and then I had to run errands at lunch and whatnot but this is a zero tolerance, zero excuse, 30 day, or even, or really technically seven week vlog. So I wanna show you that everybody has things that might get in their way or maybe there's days that they feel like they want to work out or that they don't or there's days that they feel like they really want to do their eating plan and days that they don't and you want to stay consistent and do the best that you can to your ability regardless of how you feel because doing it consistently whether you feel like it or not is going to build the new habits create the new behaviors and ultimately get you the body and the health level that you want for the long term. 
So the 30 minutes that I'm going to do will be on the stair mill. That's the stair mill. So I'm trying not to get anybody in there, right? Trying to respect everybody's privacy. But it's one of the hardest machines in the cardio section. If you have problems with your lower body, maybe you have hip, knee, or ankle problems, you certainly don't have to do something that strenuous. I personally like to do it because it's a very intense exercise and it allows me to get a big calorie burn in a short amount of time. It helps me deplete my glycogen stores. Don't worry about what that means. I'm gonna explain it as we go through the videos. It basically helps me maximize my results, but minimize my time in the gym. So I'm gonna get started. I'll show you a clip once I'm done. I might be able to show you a little bit of me on the machine, but it's kind of hard because I'm really trying to just concentrate and get the heck out of here, but I'll do what I can. Catch you in the next clip. you guys I'm done with the workout it's about 8 25 something like that and I'm getting ready to go home and so we are going to wrap up day one so one of the things I want you to think about when you're going through the 30-day reduce process is really there's only a handful of things that you need to make sure that you're doing on a daily basis to maximize your results number one you've got to be consistent the more good days that you're doing things at a hundred percent that you keep doing again and again and again and again the more fast the results are going to come so let's talk about what those things are I'm at a tennis court so they're all yelling I apologize if it's distracting the first one is did I eat all of the food on my food management plan exactly as outlined? So even though I'm showing you my food and what I'm eating, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best food for you at this stage. It's the best food for me at the stage that I'm at, but I have different metabolic issues. I have different physiological requirements. I, my body's in a different position biochemically than yours. So if the food that I'm eating is not matching what you're supposed to be eating, don't change it to match me. You do you. Do your food management plan. But number one for sure is, am I eating everything Dr. Nash has prescribed? And am I making sure that I'm not leaving anything out and I'm not changing or substituting anything? So that's the first one. Number two, am I taking all of the supplements the way Dr. Nash has prescribed? Make sure that if you've got things that you're supposed to take in the morning and at night, that you're taking them. That's what I'm doing with this X-Series supplements in addition to the reduce phase so that I can see just what kind of good results I get. If I'm taking Metabolic X, I'm taking that three times a day. It's different than the bigger supplements like Fusion X, Rejuvenation X, Restoration X, Inflammation X. Those bigger ones, those are taken twice a day for most clients. Some they only have to take them once a day. So it just depends on what camp you're in. And then the Metabolic X is taken as a completely different schedule. So make sure you're taking all your supplements as you're supposed to. Am I drinking all of my water? And am I getting all of my water in, preferably before 3 p.m.? The more days that you do that, the better, because water is heavy. A gallon of water weighs eight and a half pounds, so we wanna get that water cleared out of the body so that when you weigh yourself the next day, you're not weighing a large amount of water. If I do exercise, am I getting at least 30 minutes in, and am I getting it in before the first meal? If you don't get exercise in, like if you're someone that chooses to exercise and you don't get it in before the first meal, maybe your schedule doesn't allow that, then you can try getting it in. The next best one would be after a minimum of four hours has gone by since the last time you ate. So if, for example, if you ate at noon, working out at 4 p.m. is good, and then you could have dinner afterwards. That's a great plan B kind of a schedule to have. If you're somebody that at this stage can't work out, have physical limitations or time requirement limitations, don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. For most people, when they first start my program, they need to do little, if any, exercise. I say that in almost every evaluation that I have. I'm just trying to show you the maximum things that you can do to get the ultimate results. What can I do to maximize my results? So 
did I eat all my food the way I'm supposed to? Did I take my supplements the way I'm supposed to? Did I drink my water the way I was supposed to? And if I can exercise, did I do a minimum of 30 minutes? That would be ideal. Is 30 minutes or more would be ideal. If you can't do that, work up to it. And did I do it before the first meal? These are ways you're gonna maximize your results by doing it consistently. Another one is, did I reduce the amount of time that I ate my food? Did I do a 10 hour window, an eight hour window, a six hour window, or a four hour window? Four hour window is really the most aggressive. You would wanna work up to that. Don't try to do that right out of the gate, but it's certainly something you can try. Again, as long as you're cleared by me, to do it. You don't have any health conditions that we might need to monitor you a little bit closely. So I'm going to go ahead and end day one here. I'll see you tomorrow morning. You guys have a good night.